Wildcat Nation News starts now. Good morning, McDevitt Jones. We are having another beautiful weather day, starting with a current of 70 degrees this morning. It will be warm and partly cloudy today with a high of 79 degrees. There is a chance of rain in our area this afternoon, just 30%. I hope you have another great day. This is Haley Hillman with today's weather for Wildcat Nation News. Good morning. This is Wildcat Nation News with Allie Annabur. Thank you for joining us this morning. Today is Tuesday, March 16th. Please stand for the Pledge and National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. today. Happy birthday to Kirsten Henderson, Case Noyd, Hunter Bogart, Jason Satterwhite, and Elijah Solomon. Hope you have a great day. On March 16, 1926, Robert Goddard made the first attempt at launching a liquid fuel rocket. Though this incredible day in history only lasted 2.5 seconds, the rocket did reach an impressive height of 41 feet and clocked 60 miles per hour speed. Tomorrow is ice cream day. Don't forget your $2 so you can enjoy a sweet treat. J.D. Williams and Miss Joy have another awesome science in a snack for us this week. Please watch. I am J.D. Williams here with Miss Joy. We're going to do science in a snack. I have some questions. Joy? Yes, sir. So, I went to sleep last night, the same time I usually do, but I, I was more tired today than yesterday. That is because you have just experienced what we call daylight savings time. This time has sprung forward. In the spring, it springs forward. So, you went to bed at 8 o'clock, but it, tonight it will feel like 9 o'clock. So, you actually lost an hour of sleep. That's why you're tired. <laughs> now, another thing that we're looking forward to, other than daylight savings time, of course, is spring. The first day of spring is on March the 20th, and I just love spring. It happens to be my favorite season, but it doesn't mean that all the flowers are going to bloom on March the 20th. That's a process that takes time, and every flower and every plant has their own little time schedule. But pretty soon it's going to be time to planting a garden, if you like to garden. Whether it be flower gardening or vegetable gardening, now's the time. Because the days will start getting longer and longer and longer, just by a minute or two every day. But we will have more time to garden and more time to be outside in nature. Thank you, Miss Joy. Thank you. I am J.D. Williams here with me. Walcott Nation News. See you next time. Happy spring! On March 16th, National Panda Day draws attention to one of the world's most unique bears. Pandas are also one of the world's most endangered and adored animals. Animal lovers spread the word about protecting and restoring their habitat. ACAP testing begins today for second and fourth grade students. Remember to be respectful of those that are testing 
If you are not testing, your class does not need to be in the halls except for lunch, restroom, and PE. Students must travel silently at all times. Please watch this encouraging ACAP message. ACAP Encouragement by Haley Hillman. Believe you can and you're halfway there. For more information about our McDavid Jones, go to our school website, our Facebook page, and class dojo. We leave you today with our encouraging quote for the week. It's okay not to know. It's not okay not to try. Walkout Nation News will return tomorrow morning at 7.40. Have a great day and remember to do your best on every test.